friends i welcome you to my youtube channel make pm uh, in today's video we will solve a problem related to gear train this type of gear train which is given with a planet gear and sun gear and connected with an arm is called epiclical gear train so how to solve this type of problem this type of problems are very com complex so we will use some simple method without visualizing the motion of the gears so let's see how to solve first of all we will read what are the given what are the knowns in the problem consist an arm of two gears a and b gear a and gear b are given number of teeth 30 and 40 are given in the problem the arm rotates uh, about the center of the gear a this is gear a so arm rotates around a at a speed of 80 rpm counterclockwise so counterclockwise this rotates at 80 rpm around a okay determine the speed of the gear b if gear a is fixed and the gear a removes 240 rpm uh, clockwise instead of being fixed okay so suppose uh, we consider clockwise as plus positive motion and counterclockwise as negative motion so we will draw a table to simplify this problem we will write uh, equation for the motions of all the gears and arms so we will write here uh, for every type of planetary or elliptical gear train you can draw table like this here you will write uh, action revolution of arm a here you will write revolution of gear a and then revolution of gear b okay so what is the first action first we will consider that arm uh, this arm is fixed so a is fixed to start any type of problem you will consider these three actions first action is arm a is fixed and gear gear a is given one revolution so this one uh, gear uh, a is given one revolution so arm a is fixed so uh, revolution of arm a will be zero because it is fixed and we will give uh, gear a one revolution so what will be the uh, revolutions of gear b so you can see that n a upon n b speed of gear a upon gear b is equal to t b upon t a it is inverse inverse to the number of truths so to you, if we give one revolution to gear a then revolution of gear b will be equal to t a upon t b right because speed is proportional to 1 by number of toes because from here you can see that na is one one revolution so one upon nb one upon nb is tb upon ta so nb is ta upon tb okay so instead of C speed we are considering the revolution because revolution number of revolution made by the gear is proportional to its speed so nb will be proportional to ta upon tb which is equal to what are the number of teeth ta is 30 and tb is 40 so 30 by 40 will be 3 by 4 because gear a is rotating in clockwise direction we have assumed gear a is rotating in clockwise direction sorry this was anti-clockwise gear a is rotating in clockwise so gear b will rotate in opposite direction so it will in counterclockwise and counterclockwise is negative so it will be minus 3 by 4 what will be our next action in this column this is uh, this will be always our first action and then second action will be a is fixed and if a is fixed arm is fixed then its revolution will be zero and instead of one revolution we will give, give x revolutions to the gear a so what will be the revolution of gear b 
minus 3 by 4 for 1 so for x it will be into x okay this is our second action our last and third action will be uh, we will now we will not fix uh, this arm suppose arm is rotating at y revolution per minute so we will add y because arm is also rotating now so here we will write y number of revolutions of arm is y number of revolution of gear a so gear a was also uh, already rotating at x rpm plus arm is also rotating so both will be added so relative number of uh, relative speed revolution of uh, gear a will be y plus x and uh, uh, is for gear b it will be y minus 3 by 4x you have to just add y in all the three columns uh, three yes three columns now we will apply our question for this column for simplify let's adjust the position so see let's see the first condition the gear a is fixed given that gear a is fixed so from third column this is our final equation last column third column this is one this is two this is third row so third row is our final equation so in this we will put the value gear a is fixed so you can see the speed of gear a is y plus x so y plus x it is fixed means number of revolution is zero so y is equal to minus x okay now you can see in the question speed of arm 80 rpm counter clock wise so speed of arm y is already given so y is equal to minus 80 so x is equal to minus minus 80 which will be equal to 80 okay so what we have to find the gear is fixed determine the speed of gear b so uh, gear b this is the speed of gear b y minus 3 by 4 x so if you will put the values y is already given y is minus 80 minus 3 by 4 into x is 80 so this will be cancelled so it will be minus 80 minus 60 is equal to minus 140 rpm minus means counter clockwise direction clockwise direction so for first con uh, condition it will be 140 rpm counter clockwise so gear gear b will move with 140 rpm in counter clockwise direction so for second condition you can see that the gear a revolves at 240 rpm clockwise so gear a speed is y plus x and it is plus 240 rpm so y plus x is 240 rpm and uh, we already know the y y is minus 80 rpm because arm is still rotating at 80 rpm in counterclockwise direction so y we can write minus 80 plus x is equal to 240 so x will be 240 plus 80 is equal to 320 rpm so this is value of x now we can find the number of revolution of gear b which is given here as y minus 3 by 4 x which will be equal to minus 80 minus 3 by 4 into 320 so we can write here as minus 80 minus 3 into 80 which will be equal to minus 80 minus 240 is equal to minus 320 so speed of gear will be b will be 320 rpm in counter clockwise direction so i hope you understood the problem if you have any doubt then please ask in the comment section and thanks for watching my video please subscribe